Meet Bethany Vieira and her four-year-old daughter, Zaina. They're in Saudi Arabia. Did you mind? Cell phone videos. <laughs> All the contact grandma and granddad back home in Wenatchee, Washington, have right now. All the contact they might ever have. If Zaina can't leave, she won't leave. It makes perfect sense that she won't give up. We also realize that she may lose her life doing this, or we may never see her again. Bethany has divorced her Saudi husband, claims he was an abusive drug user, which he denies. I messaged him for comment, but got no reply. A Saudi judge just denied Bethany Vieira, an American citizen, custody of her own daughter, ruling the mother is new to Islam, is a foreigner in this country, and continues to definitively embrace the customs and traditions of her upbringing. We must avoid exposing Zaina to these customs and traditions, especially at this early age. We may have different languages, but we're really the same. We're human beings. We should be able to get along. Custody of Zaina now officially given to her Saudi grandmother. Both Bethany and her ex were found unfit. Her parents tell us there's now a warrant out for Bethany's arrest after she allegedly missed a visitation that her parents say she wasn't even told about that Bethany's been banned from leaving the country for 10 years and been told not to talk to the press. That's why we're talking to mum and dad. She wants to be able to have the right to go and come. She used to have that right. Bethany uh, won't give up, and and because that's her, her daughter. Saudi Arabia has softened slightly. The past few years, women, for the first time, have been allowed to compete at the Olympics, vote in local elections, drive cars. but. This remains one of the most male-dominated societies on Earth. The so-called guardianship system still in effect. Which means that a woman from birth until death must have a male guardian. The idea is that they are not capable and they and that men know better. Under Saudi law, a woman's word still worth half that of a man's. One plus one equal two. According to the judge who took Zaina away from her mother, she'd been speaking too much English, not assimilating into Arab culture. Bethany was talking to lawyers and Zaina overheard the verdict, started counting in Arabic <coughs> to prove that she could speak it. A State Department official told CNN, due to privacy considerations, we will not have a specific comment at this time. Our embassies and consulates abroad have no greater responsibility than the protection of U.S. citizens overseas, but added that U.S. citizens abroad are subject to local laws. We love our granddaughter. I think our deepest fear is that we might not ever see her again.